So yes, example problems sa impulse and momentum. So meron akong dalawa dito. Okay. So first, a steel ball moving at 6 meters per second hits an identical steel ball at rest. If the coefficient of restitution is 0.7, determine the speed of each ball just after the impact. Okay. So, ang maganda kasi sa JS, no? Madudrawing mo siya, unlike yung mat. Sige, Alex, nadudrawing mo rin naman. Pero, JS yung pinaka gumagamit ng imagination. Which is good, kasi imaginative tayo as engineering students or engineering board exam takers. Okay, so drawing natin. Identical daw. So, identical lang naman. Yan. Sabihin natin ito si A, ito si B. Ito si A na lang to, 6 meters per second. Okay, and then, ang gawin natin, no? as usual, kapag to the right, yun yung positive ha. Pag to the left, standards lang naman yun, pero para hindi na nakalito. So, VA initial is equal to positive 6 meters per second. And then, VB initial is equal to 0. Kasi sinabi ka at rest. Okay. Now, coefficient of restitution is 0.7. That means inelastic yan. Diba? Pag between 0 and 1, inelastic yun. Determine the speed of each ball just after the impact. So, ang hinahanap natin ay VA final tsaka VB final. Okay. So, ano yung pwede natin gawin dito? Right now, we have two solutions. Law of conservation of energy and law of conservation of physics. Yung binigay kong tips sa inyo. Kailan tayo gagamit ng law of conservation of momentum? Kapag mostly horizontal yung motion or pag may collision. So, good idea na dito na, ah, magano na lang ako, law of conservation of momentum. And also, hindi gagana talaga yung sa energy, kasi nga, inelastic siya. Tapos, pag inelastic, hindi na ako conserve yung energy. So, isulat natin yung law of conservation of momentum. P initial is equal to P final. Okay? So, paano natin yung gagawin? Dapat, lahat ng momentum sa initial situation, so, momentum is mass times velocity. MA, VA initial, plus MB, VB initial, is equal to MA, VA final, plus MB, VB final. So, yan yung first equation natin. Now, pag i-analyze natin to, sinabi dito na identical, so, yung mga M na yan, same lang. So, pwede nating i-divide both sides by M, ma-cancel. Okay? Tapos, yung VA, pwede nating i-substitute na yung positive 6. VB is 0. VA final plus VB final. Okay, that's our first equation. So, i-rewrite ko lang dito VA final plus VB final is equal to 6 Okay So, meron tayong one equation but two unknowns So, kailangan natin humanap ng isa pang equation and dun napapasok si coefficient of restitution Coefficient of restitution E So, i-recall -re ninyo Oops, hinangin Ito Negative Final over initial. Okay. So, E is equal to negative difference ng final all over difference ng initial. VB. Initial. Okay. Sorry. Yan. So, since VB initial is zero, cancel natin to. So, bali magiging ano to? Uh, 0.7 is equal to, distribute ko na, negative VA final plus VB final all over positive 6. 
So, pag tinaas ko to, makukuha natin, negative VA final plus VB final is equal to 4.2. So, yan. Meron na tayong two equations and two unknowns. Pwede ka mag-shift solve. Or pag nakita mo, pwede mo nang i-add to and then divide to. Makukuha mo na na VB final is equal to 5.1 meters per second. VA final is equal to 0.9 meters per second. Okay, kung ikakalkyon niyan, punta kayo sa mode oops, mode 5 1. ba? Mode 5 1. Pero unting ano na lang, unting sa uh, systems lang. Okay. Ito yung practice na palagi kong tinuturo sa mga students ko. Pag nakakuha na kayo ng sagot, magkaroon kayo ng tinatawag nating sanity check. May sense ba yung answer? Mm, tingnan natin. 6. So, yung speed mo, less than 6. But, tama naman, no? Pag binangga mo, medyo relatively, since parehas lang naman yung, yung mass nila, dapat halos magkasing bilis. So, kung i-imagine natin, no? Ano yung meaning niyan? So, after nila mag-collide, si VA final, nag-move pa rin ng by 0.9. So, medyo maliit na lang yun. Tapos si B, 5.1. So, relatively, siya mas mabilis. Okay, isipin nga natin. What if ang coefficient of restitution mo is 1? Ibig sabihin, elastic. Pag elastic, parang sa mga billiard balls, no? Pag tumama ang isang bola, pak Alam mo yung stop ball? Ngayon ko, kung may mga nanonood dito na marunong mag-billiard. Pero pag nagtama ng dalawang billiard balls, tapos ito naka-atrest, pak nag tumitigil Now, coefficient of restitution. Ibig sabihin, for some time, very small amount of time, may na-absorb pa. Para siyang motion na Kung, kung sabihin natin, i-describe natin na ang elastic parang matigas na motion, ito medyo may softness yung motion mo. Tapos medyo nag-follow through pa ng paharap ng konti. Kaya may 0.9 meters per second. Pero hindi niya napasa lahat ng speed niya. Kasi nga may low, so 5.1 lang yung napasa niya. Okay? So, yan. Para, kaya ganyan yung example ko para alam nyo rin paano gamitin yung coefficient of restitution. Okay. Tingnan natin tong next problem. A 4 kilogram ball moving at 10 meters per second collides with a 16 kilogram ball moving at 4 meters per second in the same direction. Okay, this time magkaiba yung mass. A. VA initial 10 meters per second. MA is equal to 4 kilos. VB initial is equal to 4. MB is equal to 16. Mas bagal siya. Calculate their final velocity if they stick on impact. So, ito yung perfectly inelastic. Okay, so, ganun din, no? Basta may collision nga, momentum will be conserved. P initial is equal to P final. So, MA, VA initial, plus MB, VB, final. Hindi naman magbabago yung mass, no? So, wag nyo na lagyan ng initial tsaka final yung mass. Pero this time, yung final, nag-stick nga sila. Sipin nyo parang dalawang clay. Ibig sabihin, yung mass mo sa final, combined mass na. MA plus MB Tawagin natin itong V final Okay Then watch out for the sign Since puro pakana naman E di positive lang din diba? So meron tayong 4 times 10 Plus 16 times 4 Is equal to uh, 
4 plus 16 v final okay v final is equal to uh, 4 times 10 plus 16 times 4 divided 20 5.2 meters per second okay ayan hmm natulak to kaya bumilis yung 4 ito naman naharangan yung 10 kaya bumagal siya make sense now additional question also calculate the loss of energy so para natin malalaman yung loss ng energy edi alamin natin yung initial energy tsaka yung final energy pag minus natin yun edi makukuha natin yung loss so ano ba yung initial energy natin dito ang initial energy natin dito puro kinetic lang yun nga, no, wala tayong potential kasi, for example, i-consider nyo na nasa ground lang sila kung saan ang MGH mo magiging zero. So, meron lang tayong KEA initial plus KEB initial. One half MV squared. Okay. Diretsyoin ko na. One half MV squared plus one half MV squared. 2 times 100 plus 8 times 16 328 joules Initial Okay, final So, sa final, ganun din Kinetic energy Pero isang buo na lang sila no? So, yung mass nila 1 half mv squared Yung mass nila Combined na 4 plus 16 Velocity is yung nasolve natin kanina 5.2 Squared. 10 times 5.2 270.4 Joule So makikita nyo Yung energy sa umpisa Mas malaki Yung energy sa huli Mas maliit Adi, Ibig sabihin nun Nabawasan ka ng energy Yun na yung loss yung minus mo na lang Energy loss is equal to energy initial minus energy final A328 minus I 57 57.6 joules again this is consistent dun sa concept natin na kapag inelastic to be specific perfectly inelastic pag inelastic ka hindi na conserve yung energy mo may loss ka so kunwari ang problem natin elastic Calculate their final velocity if they are elastic or the collision is elastic. Expect ninyo na yung energy loss dapat zero. Okay? Kasi yun nga yung definition ng elastic. Alright, so, ayan, para makita nyo rin, no? Okay.